First, create a new part file in Autodesk Inventor. In 2D Sketch Mode, create a horizontal 2-inch line. Use the coinciding constraint to move the midpoint of the line to the origin. On both sides of your original line, create a line that is perpendicular. Sketch a circle in the middle with a diameter of 4.70. Dimension the circle to be 0.375 from the bottom and 1 from the edge. If your lines do not reach the edge of the circle, use the Extend tool to extend them all the way to the circle. If they do go past the edge of the circle, use the Trim tool to bring them back to the edge of the circle. Then finish your sketch. Extrude your new figure 1.75 inches. Create a new sketch on the front face of your figure. Draw a rectangle from the bottom left hand corner up. Dimension it to be 0.88 inches tall. Sketch a circle with a diameter of 1.5 inches. Dimension the circle to be 1.38 inches from the bottom edge and 1 inch from the side. Use the trim feature to trim away your intersecting lines. Then use the collinear constraint to constrain your green line to be collinear with the line opposite. Extrude the new figure 5.5 minus 1.75 inches. Make sure to use the extrude join feature. Create a new sketch on the side of your figure. Draw a circle with a diameter of 1. Dimension it to be 1.75 inches from the bottom and 0.25 inches from the back. Create a line that is tangent from the circle to the edge of the train on both the top and the bottom of the circle. Use the trim feature to trim the outside of the circle that is not on the train body and the part of the circle that extends past the tangents. Use the parallel constraint to constrain the green line parallel to the bottom line. Close your figure with a vertical line on the edge. Finish your sketch and select the Extrude Cut feature. Select the distance as All and cut the new figure out of your train body. Open the fillet toolbar and set the radius to 0.1 inches. Then check the box All Rounds and click OK.
Create a new tangent work plane by selecting the tangent to surface work plane, then clicking on the top of the left or side of your figure, and then the flat surface below it. Create a new sketch on your work plane. Use the Project Geometry tool to project the geometry of the outermost, not the filleted edges, to your new work plane. Then create a point and dimension it to be 1 inch from the side and 0.88 inches from the front of your train. Finish your sketch and use the hole feature to drill a hole in the top of your train body. Set the diameter to 0.5 inches. Select the depth and then change the depth to 0.25 inches. Make sure to use the angle drill bit. Right click on the work plane in the user browser and uncheck its visibility. Create a new sketch on the front of your train. Again, project the geometry of the outermost edges of your train, not the filleted edges. Draw three points on the front of your sketch. Dimension the two lower points to be 1.25 inches away from the bottom of your sketch. If you want to set a dimension equal to another dimension, Open its editing window and then click on the dimension you want to set it equal to. Dimension the two lower points to be 0.375 inches away from the edge of your train. Now dimension your top point to be 0.625 inches away from the bottom of your train and one inch away from the side of your train. Finish your sketch and select the hole feature. Select the distance to 0.125 inches and make sure to use the flat drill point. Then select the diameter of your circles to be 0.125 inches as well. Create a new 2D sketch on the side of your train. Again, project the geometry of the outermost edges of your train. Create two points in this sketch. Dimension them to be both 0.5 inches away from the bottom of the train. Dimension one point to be 4.5 inches away from the back of your train. Dimension the other point to be one inch from the back of your train. Finish your sketch. Select the hole feature. Select the tapped flat hole. You are going to set the designation to 1 quarter 20 UNC and the size to 0.25. Set the diameter of your hole to 0.75. Okay. 
you may have to set the size to 0.25 before setting the designation. Make sure your settings look exactly like this box. Create another 2D sketch in the back of your figure. Again, project the geometry at the outermost edges. Create one point on this work plane. Dimension it to be 1 inch from the edge and 0.375 inches from the bottom. Use the hole feature to drill a hole that is 0.25 inches in diameter and 0.5 inches deep. Make sure you use the angle drill bit